Okay, so real quick video. I get a lot of questions about NDI and getting it to work and how do you do this or how do you do that? So we're gonna give you an alternative to NDI. Um, it's called Teleport for OBS and we'll get into that here in just a second. Okay, so just like every other plugin for OBS, you have to download it and install the plugin first. We're gonna do this really quick. Uh, link is in the description. So teleport, right? We're gonna download it, go to the OBS page and uh, type in teleport or Google it, whichever. Go to download. You're gonna see three options of the download right here. You're gonna see OBS teleport zip, source code, and then uh, the tar file. We're gonna go with the zip, download it. You may get an error from your firewall depending on how you have your security set up on your, on your computer, but it's fine. You can open it up. Then we're going to go into Windows or Linux or Mac, whichever one you use, right? We're going to go into Windows. You're going to be given two files, an executable and a DLL. So the executable just does it for you. It puts the DLL in the specific folder. If you double click on this and then you run, again, you're going to get that uh, firewall or your security or your virus scan or whatever the case may be on your computer. You may or may not get this. Just click on more info, run anyway, and it's going to run the installer. If you see right here, this is where it's going to put that DLL file. So you see that OBS teleport.dll, it's going to put it in this folder. So if, if you don't trust this executable, you can go ahead and cancel it out and just drop it in this folder. I've already got it installed, uh, so I'm not going to do it again but you can do it either way. So after you have it installed, we're gonna open up OBS and you have your basic OBS scene set up, right? You have your audio, your display. I'm gonna turn on the display real quick just to show you this on. Display's on, right? I just uh, made it so where we don't have to look at the preview and you don't have to see that, you know, stuff right there. So. This is the computer that you're going to be playing your game on or your whatever the case may be, right? Just like NDI, you're going to go up to tools and you'll see a new option that says teleport. For it to work, you have to have this check marked right here, teleport enabled. And then you have to identify it, name it whatever you want. I'm just naming it test and then give it a port. Um, make sure that you have a port that is unblocked on your firewall or else this won't work. Port 1000 should be a good one. Um, you can't have the quality over 90%. For some reason, it doesn't like it over 90%. So just put it at 90. That's your best quality you're going to get. Click OK. And it should be displaying on that screen or on your other screen. We're going to hop over to my other computer. And I'm going to show you that uh, what to do on that specific computer to get it to work. OK, so here we are on the secondary computer. And it's 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 a it's a little bit different. I'll, I'll I'll show you that it's a totally different computer, as you can see. So we're gonna open this back up, right? I'm going to get rid of the preview. Well, we'll leave the preview on this one. So on the second computer, you're gonna need to add a source, and you should see a new source that says teleport. Let's click on teleport. Create new or add an existing. I have another one on here, so we're just going to add it. Click on teleport. And then click OK. Click okay. It's going to give this little box right here. We're going to go ahead and move it right there. And then drop it down at the bottom. And now you have teleport. Now it's from the other computer. You're going to enable it. As you can see, it's coming over from the other computer. All your sound should be there. And that's it. That is literally it. There's nothing else to do. Enable it on one machine, add the source on the other. That's it. No NDI setup or anything like that. Kind of works like NDI, but easy enough. So for all those uh, people that had questions or couldn't get NDI to work, this one is a little bit easier to, to deal with. And yeah, no need for a capture card or any of that nonsense. It just goes over your network. So, okay. Quick video, if you guys liked it, uh, subscribe, notification, all that stuff. If you guys want help or anything like that, again, Discord's in the description. And I'll see you on the next one.